Hey guys, this is Ed from Mission Impossible, and with me I have Wyatt. Uh, hopefully we're not going to have the same issues that we had last time. We did a whole bunch of crap during the beginning, so should be all good to go now. What all crap did we do at the beginning? Remember, remember. we had to like resize everything? We oh, had, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was part. a whole bunch of stuff that we had sure, to do. Sure, sure. Um, hey, give me one sec, so, folks. i got to clean these. Oh, no worries. So today... I was telling them now. You... Do I, oh, tell them now. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Uh, let's see. What, what, do we, we, what do we got on the docket? We have Zonox. Uh, is that how it's pronounced? Zonox. That's how I pronounce it. If someone else well, has a better way. I don't know why. I assumed it was Zonox. Well, I guess that's totally viable too. I don't know. Um, Sox Nox. Yeah. Zonox. I, I don't know. Zonox. You could go Zonox. How many Zonox. Zellers are you doing? Uh, there's only two Zellers. Oh, so. Comavid and Zellers. Yeah, Comavid. Oh, yeah, that's kind of handy for having that right there. Yeah, see I that? just now noticed it. Just two. Uh, that's all that, that looked like it was, you know, I think we've done the other ones before. Uh, if we need to regroup and find other ones. Because Zellers was one of those, I think, that was remade several times by different companies, republished and repackaged, etc. cetera. Um, so uh, let's start it off. Uh, artillery duel. It looks like there's a third person. Third person? Just because oh, just yeah. your arm is there, but yeah. I'm not in yours at all, so it just looks so. like there's a third person in the middle of us. And they're just blocked off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the third guy, uh, Zed. What is this? Zed. It's called Artillery Duel. Okay, so I assume two. I would assume that. Let's see. Whoa! So, <laughs> so I just hit select, and it just goes crazy. Great. Yeah. So, so is it randomly generated? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure because I looked up, like, I tried playing it. Ah, uh, it looks like you can adjust All right. here. Your B, your B, B and your player. W. Oh my god, could this hurry up a little? Let's go into the stratosphere. Not quite. Missed it by that much. Or that much. Uh, we gotta figure out how to do two player on this because this has got to be a two player game. I assume. I'm not sure this is the way. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It just does the randomness when I hit select, not <laughs> not reset. Also, I'm on top of a mountain. Here, you can try. I think no, are you I'm doing, doing that? something. Yeah. Okay. So am I. So there's B and P. Oh, so it's maybe already two player. Maybe. How come I can't shoot though? I don't know. You know that, wow, that's, that one that's, went that's really far. far. That's wide. That's just a little bit. Just a bit outside. Kay. Okay. Um, now you do stuff. Ah, so it's alternating. Okay, so there's B and P. So I I'm, can still control it a little bit though. Can you? Yeah, because look. I, no, no, I can't now. Okay. So it's alternating. All right. It is fully alternating. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Boom. Okay, so it is two players. It's no good. Crap! <laughs> Criminy, I've got too much power. Need to like have the amount of power that okay, I've got. So I think this is like the angle, probably. I don't know why it'd be B, but yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You might get over the hump. No, I don't think. B for oh, bangle. Oh. oh, 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 this might be a winner. Oh. Very barely not. Now, what I wonder is is it saving it between them? Now, you also have wind, it looks like. Going to the right. Okay, so maybe I'll... Better. Still way too much. Better. Going the right direction, I guess. Alright. Just too so much power. Let's do a little less power. Hopefully it saves it and I don't have to remember what the, the numbers I think it were. does. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, you're gonna oh. do it? No. <laughs> Technically not. Barely. Barely. 
So one of the things that's interesting about the Xanox cartridges uh -huh. is a lot of them, they didn't do them all this way. Oh! Uh, oh! Gotcha. Um, they had, they were called double enders. Because these oh, are the yeah, ones yeah, that had yeah. one on one side I, and one I on the remember, other. I remember, I've seen or some Or dust of those. collectors as, as I would go, oh, oh, that's funny. Your little dudes coming over here, I guess. Yeah, after the artillery. <laughs> or they're just doing a little dance. A little crinkly crime and <laughs> Looks like it is randomizing the play field here. Zero to one. I am a winner. Oh, that is not good. This is a terrible <laughs> setup. What the Why hell? Why would we even bring artillery here? What the hell? <laughs> All right. You just got to nail it in one. I, I When the wind's going against me, 12. How the hell am I going to do that? Unless you could go that way. Uh, I don't know. Why don't, why don't you figure that out? And I'll well, sit go here 90. with my much clearer shot. Yeah, but you're not going to hit me. That's going to be really hard for you to hit, too. True. This is, I feel like this is a... <laughs> straight a up. Straight up. Hey, I mean, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> I like that it gets quiet as it gets farther away. Do we just wait now? I think we wait until it comes down from the atmosphere. Okay, it did better than I thought it was going to do. This is the slowest artillery duel in history. Alright, let's see here. Let's go 80 degrees. It got small for a sec. Oh, you can hit the fast forward button, probably. Nope, I can't. It's not working. Okay. That might be interesting. I got real excited for a sec there. Yeah. All right, so this is... Oh, wow. Okay, the wind changed. That's what the thing is. All right, let's see if I can just keep cranking up the power. Oh. All right, so I can do... That's going to go the opposite way, so I want to go, like... Hey, let's see what happens. Ooh, barely made it. Oh, it's working. This... It's all coming know. together. I don't, I don't know, man. It might. So how's things been around the house? How's, how's your dogs? I, I don't know. We got a minute. <laughs> oh, there it okay. is. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe? This one might go the distance, sir. No, no. Over, overshot just by a little, little I'm bit. I'm disappointed. I wanted to move on. <laughs> all right. Let's do this. Uh huh. Oh, oh you the, got the power. I do. I've got the power. Yeah, I got the, the right thing right. here. All right, let's see here. So let's go a little less. Oh. Problem is, it was barely making it past the thing. So I don't know if it's. Oh, I can only go in five increments. Apparently. Oh, that's going to hit the mountain. Oh, no, I guess it doesn't. No, no uh, collision there. Which is weird. There's collision everywhere else. I guess Here I could have done less power. Here it comes. I could have done less power. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was way <laughs> that was wide. Way far away. All right. It's interesting there's a time limit. On fire! The can... <laughs> okay. <laughs> there well, we go. One advantage of using emulation. We can, uh, we can do this here. Let's try that. Oh. oh, no, okay. I, mean, I yeah. thought you got me for a second. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Much better with the acceleration. Then I could just go in turbo mode. Oh. <laughs> All right, so um, I did less power there, but it went really wide, didn't it? It was pretty close this last time, so maybe just slightly less power. Less power? Less power. I don't remember. It still overshot me. Ah. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe. Yeah, or maybe not. Fire! Oh, you're that was close. pretty close. The wind is also screwing things up. Yeah, keeps changing on me. And I don't have any idea how to. Ah! Oh, oh. Directed. There you go. 
Tiebreaker? Well, now that we can speed it up, probably a find up. We do one more. All right, but yeah, we gotta break the tie. All right. All right. This is me, I think. No, it's me. Oh, it's you. Okay. Okay. Maybe because mm -hmm. I got the last one. Seventy-five. You know what? Let's let's go seventy seventy-five fire. I don't want to go too fast because then you don't get to see where it was and stuff. I'd rather okay. not know. You know what? <laughs> That's part of the mystery. All right, I'm just gonna see what this. Does. Home run indeed. That was a that was a good good shot on that last one. Uh, thank you. Appreciate. It. I need less power. Oh, I need way more. All of a sudden, the wind's blowing right in my face. <laughs> you get fired or what? You get out of here. Oh, that's, 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 that's all. Just a bit outside there. Look, I don't know how to compensate for the wind. <laughs> I didn't go to artillery school. I have a degree in sociology, not armed warfare. I feel like I'm really overshooting it, but I don't feel like I've got that much power. Oh! No. Sixty-nine! Still way too powerful. No. Still way too much. Holy! I'm gonna reduce the power quite a bit. This is a wind. lot of wind! Oh! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh uh -oh. no! That's the My thing. cannon. Okay. Let's move on. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, enough. of course. Now That's you cool. want to move on. Okay, so this is interesting. Chuck Norris Super Kicks. Yes. Uh, and this actually was renamed when they lost the license, but it was originally Chuck Norris Super Kicks. What did they rename it to? Uh, I put it in the, the YouTube description. I can't remember what it was. But let's. Uh, I played around with this, but I did not do very well. Uh, looking at this, it, it actually looks promising but i cannot figure out how to actually fight here you, you oh, try okay um, um all i do is just get my ass kicked and i, I don't know what the oh. he's like shooting at you directions is it just directions it's directions and the button ha oh. i tried <laughs> but he's just kicking the crap out oh he threw an egg at me an egg well i don't know what else it could be a gun? I don't know, he's shooting you. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's got a gun. He might have a gun. It looked like an egg. It was a random white pellet out of nowhere. Okay. <laughs> and then he taunts me with it. So that's your, that's your time's going way down when you do that. Yeah, I noticed. So don't do that. It's probably not what you want. Why does the grass... Yeah, I know. What is he, allergic? Object of the game, achieve the coveted black belt and enter the monastery while collecting as many points as possible before time runs out. Highest score wins. I got him. Okay. Got him. How'd you do it? You didn't do it that time. <laughs> Down and button and then he shot me. Yeah. Yeah. Super kick. Victory. Man, how did Chuck Norris ever fall out of favor? Did he ever? I, I don't know. I don't see him anymore. I don't hear about him. He's kind People of don't make those jokes anymore. So I'd. Right. He's fallen out of general favor. He's yeah. He's no longer in during the or in the meme zeitgeist. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Uh, it's hard. Uh, Stop it. Leave me alone. <laughs> what did I ever do to you? I don't even know you, man. All right. Fast yeah. forwarding. <laughs> ah. The controls are a bit awkward to me. They're bad, I would even say. <laughs> At no, some point, he just throws sad, an though, egg. Because if the controls were better, it actually could be a decent game. 
<laughs> you know, I, I think that's uh, a fair point. It's only sad because he is ninety some yeah. years old. Yeah, is he? He's just sub- simply not in the public eye anymore. He's yeah. that old? Yeah, he's old. How old was he? I yeah, guess uh, he's in his eighties or seventies or whatever when all the memes came out. But so in yeah. the nineties, he was in his yeah seventies. You can math, can't you? Yeah, great. Thanks. <laughs> When was he popular? When was he in big movies? Oh, uh, that'd be the '80s for the most part. Okay. Yeah. So he was 60 years old yeah, when he, he started was, to get popular. Yeah, and he also That's what I'm TV trying show. to understand. Uh, I thought you meant like with the memes and stuff. Um, no, uh, he was popular. Uh, he also had a, a TV show, Walker Texas Ranger. That, that, that I, was that I've was heard pretty of that. big for a while, but uh, his action movies were actually before then. So, um, but you know, I mean, that was. 40 plus years ago so sure but i mean yeah. i even if he if he was in his 20s so, yeah or his exactly. 30s still 90 it just yeah. he's older than i he thought was he was in a, he was in a bruce lee movie uh game of death um he looks very weird because he doesn't have his traditional beard and mustache ah so he's he's clean shaven which you he looks very tr- odd beat this guy okay down an a for a super kick super kick it's a kick. It's his only kick. kick. It doesn't have a lot of range. Yeah, that's the problem is there's no range on this thing. Ow. And apparently it's your only offensive move. Isn't there a punch too? Oh, 19 seconds. I don't know. I couldn't find out how to punch. Is that a punch? Yeah. And that's some sort of block? I don't know. Looks like it's button and forward. Wow! He pushes you down and shoves egg in your face. Yeah, that's what he's doing. I don't know. Though. So I, I wonder mean, is I feel like I hear belt? about Arnold Schwarzenegger a lot. Is also part of it. I'm learning. You know, look at his belt color. I think changes once you beat a guy. Sure. Once you beat it starts a, off with once the, you get to white. a stage. <laughs> well, at least we know he'll stand there looking at whether or not he hits you for a minute. Yeah, you love that, don't you? There we go. Can I leave? No, I gotta fight fight him. You've gotta finish the fight. Finish him. It's like sucker punch there. It's just like, what the hell, man? I guess, how old is Arnold Schwarzenegger then? He's getting up there. We uh, we just finished up uh, FUBAR. Have you seen that or heard of it? No. It's a TV show on Netflix. Uh, was starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, he's yeah. seventy-six. It's yeah, it's just surprise. Look guess, up Chuck Norris. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's just surprise. I, it's not like I don't believe him. I just yeah, yeah. was like surprised by his age yeah. compared to other people. Like, I didn't right. realize he was that much older. Uh, <laughs> he's too quick. The bad guy is just ridiculously fast. Yeah. How old is he? 83. Oh, okay. So he's 80s, not 90s. Still older. He's older than the others, I, yeah. Yeah. He's still a, a good seven wasn't years he, what, older. Wasn't he in a, an Expendables movie? Yeah. One of them? I've only watched the first one. I don't know if you watched I think he was one. in the second one, maybe. Okay. I've seen some oh, okay. of the Expendable movies. <clears throat> it can't be that Expendable. None of them ever die. Yeah, pretty much. <coughs> of course. Kind of a kind of a dull yeah. hard little game. Yeah, it's ridiculously hard to, to kick him. And these are just What the heck? Some <coughs> wild pitch. He just there. came in and just threw. Yeah. Maybe they're throwing knives. Again, they yeah. just look like eggs. Well, they're just white squares, so... Yeah, and he's throwing it. Yeah. I've never been hit... W- maybe they're blocks of white cheese. That could be what it is. Thanks. <laughs> I, I love when yes and is just yes, done. End of sentence, and now I go well, You home. said the block, block of cheese. That's all I was like, yeah, sounds good. Oh. Yeah, but... <laughs> It's like, not, yeah, a block cheese. of cheese, or it could be, no, no, no play it off of it, it's just, mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep, you got it. I was thinking it could be a nice, you know, block of Havarti or something. <laughs> ah, there nice. you go, Havarti. Yeah. Havarti. Oh, 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 Jesus. I've fallen in love with Havarti over the last <laughs> oh, year really? or so. 
Well, I've never really had much Havarti. Ah. That's <clears throat> good. And then, uh... Could then, be Brie? Huh? Could be Brie? It could be. Well, White I, I feel like that wouldn't take out Chuck Norris. No. Well, actually, to be honest, this game should have been just like, just you win. You just go through it and just, just you don't have to do anything and just immediately. Well, how did that even, different. how did the meme start? That's a good question. I don't to know. To my knowledge, he lost in the one Bruce Lee movie he was yes. in. Oh, yeah. He can't, he can't win against Bruce Lee. Sure, but it's like, yeah. then how it. I, it's one of those things that it just, it fed on itself, I think. And it's just people kept coming up with more and more and more funny Things. Sure, it's just interesting how much it evolved out of seemingly. He yeah, was he's he was out of the public hero. eye. Every action hero yeah. wins yeah, all the time. But uh, he'd been out of the public eye for many, many years before all that stuff came out. Very weird. So, I tried messing with oh, this, okay, and I could not figure out what we're trying to do. Every time you get catch the ghost, it goes up by a number. Okay, that seems so like a bad catch thing. the ghost. It seems like but a bad thing. But my score is going up. Is your score going up? Yeah. Okay. So that usually means it's a good thing. So you just run around and catch the ghost every time. Get back here, you ghost! <laughs> the problem was the playtesting. Chuck Norris played it, playtested it, and all of the enemy sprites quit in fear. There we go. Perfect. The sprites are good, but it's like it's not obvious what you're trying to do. Con We're also not in a manor. There's well, a there manor over a manor. there. There is a manor. A manor exists. What's this one called? Manor Ghost? Ghost Manor. Ghost Manor. Manor Ghost? It's a manor ghost. Manor Ghost, yeah. Man or ghost. Yeah. The two genders. Uh. I've got two crosses up there, and none of the buttons seem to do anything. My score goes up whenever I touch this ghost. Oh! Oh! What'd you do? Uh... I... Whoa! I've got an incredible spear of ultimate power. So now it's turning into a... Like a shoot up at space game? Shoot up at the ghost manor. Okay. And now it's a maze? Weird. This is crazy. Who is oh. that guy? I feel like I shouldn't get grabbed by the mysterious top hat man. Probably not. But I don't know where you're going to go. Back down the stairs, maybe? If you can get around him. Oh, wow. Nice, uh, nice moves there. Juked him. What am I? I, I yeah, I'm not really sure stairs. what I'm Probably supposed to. Stairs, but I don't know. Just go down the... Okay. Object of the game. Oh, here we go. It I'm says... stuck. <laughs> All right. Here Laser. We, here's what it says here. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Okay. It's a, uh, it's a stormy night with I'm lightning flashing all around. Never get you. A scary challenge awaits you in Ghost Manor. Your friend is being held prisoner by Dracula inside the eerie Ghost Manor castle. As night falls, your job is to rescue your friend held prisoner by Dracula and escape from the castle all before dawn. A friendly ghost will help you at first, but beware of the guardian spooks. Bat, bats, skulls, scorpions, and the evil chopping mummy. Uh, find crosses and oh, treasure points. I got him. Did you? Maybe. Oh, your buddy. Or, or no, we're dead. Maybe. So, um, did I win or did I die? I don't know. It says find crosses and treasure points hidden in caskets in the castle mazes along the way to save your friend. Oh, I'm supposed to open stuff in those mazes. Okay. I thought I was just trying to get through them. Ah, uh, and it says, uh, object of the game, rescue your friend being held prisoner by Jack Dracula by collecting as many points as possible before time runs up. Highest score wins. There are five play screens in the game. Um, so this is a friendly ghost. Also, the go it's Ghost Manor Castle, which just feels like an unnecessary added uh, yeah. noun at the end of that. Um, okay, so at the top of the line is, score, uh, is your score. The hourglass in the center shows time. You have four minutes to play. 
There are grains of sand in the glass, each worth 30 seconds of play. I like that much better than a counter, to be honest. Sure. Um, shots counter in the lower left indicates how many spears collected in first place screen and shots remain in, remained in the second place screen. So, oh, so that's... So he's oh, giving me spears? Yeah, apparently. Um, spear tokens above shots counter indicate every 10 shots collected. A maximum of two spear tokens will display. Lamp token in the lower right hand corner tells you that you have the lantern for use inside the castle to light the way. Cross tokens indicate how many crosses you possess to repel Dracula. A maximum of three crosses will display. Um, ah, the mummy got me. Oh, interesting. Boy, girl, player selection. Use the color slash BW switch to select your player as a boy or a girl. Oh, interesting. That is very cool. I've never seen that. Okay. I need more spears, ghost. Uh, and it looks like there are difficulties. We can mess with uh, uh, different, you know, making it easier or harder. It's um, probably not necessary right now. But No, we got it. Okay, so the gameplay. Gave graveyard at the beginning of the to uh, game. Tombstones... Tombstones... Rise from the dead. Tombstones rise from the dead? Are. Yeah. They're living tombstones now. Okay. You play tag with the friendly uh, friendly rainbow ghost or bones a skeleton to collect spears to shoot the next Or screen. bones the skeleton? I'm wondering if that's if you're like boy girl mode or whatever. That's weird. Boys get skeletons? skeletons? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Um, the two genders, skeleton and ghost. There you go. Uh, and then it says screen I get two. To, to make that joke twice. Uh, the gate in front of the ghost manor of Ghost Banner Castle. Yeah, you're saying. Um, many flying spooks guard the castle entrance, and their leader, the evil chopping mummy. Is that the chopping mummy? Right? Oh, that's the chopping mummy. Yep. He's chopping. He's, He's chopping. chopping. He's jumping, jumping. Um, He's hacking and whacking and smacking. You. Uh, shoot the spooks by hurling your spears at them. Kill oh, the he got me again. Kill the mummy after the guards are eliminated. Okay, and then it says, first oh. floor, then the next screen. Oh, so it's I just got random. The skeleton. No, I hit a button and it became the skeleton. Oh, oh interesting. But it oh, might be difficulty level. Yeah, these guys harder to catch. He's going fast. That's probably what you do. You change the difficulty level. Man, that spear goes really fast. Yeah, it does. Also, the mummy's way faster now. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got you. Yeah, he did. He axed you. He chopped you. You got the second floor inside the castle. It's a screen four. It says the more elaborate mazes. Oh, no. First floor. Sorry, I missed it. First floor inside the castle is screen three. Lightning flashes in the night. Your only visible guide unless you have the lamp lighted. Uh, the maze of corridors and rooms with caskets await you. Touch the casket just right to find an extra cross and treasure points. Beware touching the stationary walls. They're electrified and can stu stun you. Watch out for the moving wall. It can crush you to death. Stairs lead to the next room. And then you go to screen five, which is a prison atop the castle. Here is, is the prison holding your friend and the sinister guard Dracula. You must imprison Dracula to free your friend by using the crosses to repel Dracula. Beware, he follows your every move. Rescue your friend to get the, you safety down the <clears throat> stairs before time's run. Time How do up. I use the crosses, though? Um, it doesn't say. Um, conclusion, back to the graveyard. As dawn breaks, you will be returned to the graveyard. If victorious, a merry melody plays, and you rejoice with your friend. If you lost, both of you are doomed to descend into the ground with the tombstones. So... There you go. Okay. So are those the tombs? Are those the coffins? Must be. Okay. So you have to wait yeah. until that goes away. What do I do with it? I don't know. Did you hit a button? Tried. Okay. I guess that the lightning is what's doing that. Yeah. It said it just said it touch it just right, which I don't know what that means. Well, I gotta get going because I'm I'm running out of time. Don't do that. Are you 
you do I got across. You, you do the thing. You got across what? <laughs> uh. Oh, don't do that. Oh, well. You got electrocuted. Don't want to do Was that. that lightning? I couldn't quite tell. You give it a shot. See what you can do. This is actually kind of cool, though. Man, I feel like there was more Halloween games than anything else. You know? Uh, sure, yeah. As far as, like, theme, like, uh, holiday type things. I We haven't played any Christmas games, to my memory. Have we? No. <clears throat> well, you can kind of follow them around and get, get a bunch while it's going. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. You can go pretty good. Ow! Oh, <laughs> he man. chopped you. He got me. He chopped you right in the head. Yep. And then you're dead. Then I'm dead. Plays a dirge. Whoa. I didn't really need to do that. I was trying to see if I could do the black and white. I don't have that switch mapped. I mean, I do probably, but I just don't know. Unfortunately, with this emulator, it doesn't like tell you what it was doing, or it is really chatty, and I don't really want it to be chatty about every little thing it does. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm not too worried about it. No, we're doing we great. We get the idea. We get the idea. Yeah, I was really confused when I first started playing this. I'm like, going, what, what? Are you supposed to avoid this ghost? What? He's you gotta, friendly, you gotta high guy. five this ghost, and he'll give you spears from beyond the grave. He's a friendly guy. Walked right into his chop. Yep, I. You yeah. ran into it. Yep. Okay. Ghost next. manor is fun. Yeah, that's kind of neat. There's a lot going on there. Okay. Next up is a motocross, motocross racer. racer. Yep. Okay, I couldn't quite figure out what we're supposed to do here. I might need to look at the manual. I was I just driving avoid and avoid things. things and drive but... real fast. Oh, how'd you shift? I couldn't figure out how to shift. What do you mean shift? Because it goes up to 30 miles an hour. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I was mistaken. Or maybe it's uh, set to easier difficulty. That might be what it is. Yeah. No, I don't mean as we were messing with the difficulty switches and stuff. Maybe. Yeah. Does that remain when you go to other games? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Well, it might not. I'm not sure. It depends on the... It would on the real system, but not necessarily on this. Okay, so this is called Motocross Racer. See, I'm stuck at 30 right now. Okay. I just don't know why. Yeah, exactly. And I was trying to mess with it. I'm like, how do I shift? That was it. I guess so. What the hell? This isn't the game. What? Oh, Astro War. It's like, why did you come up with Astro War when I looked up Motocross Racer? That's weird. It's not even the, remotely the same thing. Seems like the more times you crash, you go slower. Okay. Maybe you've, you've damaged your vehicle. Now I'm stuck at 30. Huh, interesting. I gotta look up in all these you know, documents. I'll have to look up the actual pictures and read about the pictures. This is... something. It's a thing? I'm trying to figure out what you're trying to do. Go real fast, win. Oh, uh, there's skill levels. You can do average race or pace, and it has different speed. Um, objects of the game. Race and qualify in each of the three motocross events while avoiding obstacles and scoring the lowest time through the race. Sure. Okay, motocross racer is made up of three exciting races over different terrains and conditions so that your 
video motorcycle driving skills will truly will be test tested will truly be tested so there's first uh, desert scramble that's what we're on first here the first comes a race along a flat desert where objects cactus desert creatures rocks and sagebrush must be avoided or you crash each crash d oh decreases your bike's performance that's what it is okay um and if you have five crashes, you'll be unable to finish the race. When you reach the mountain, and if you beat the pace time, you'll proceed to the next race. Okay, so I guess you're just avoiding everything. So yeah, why not just go over there? Well, I guess it can still hit you. Things do still hit you eventually, but it takes a longer time for them yeah. to hit you. That's two. Yeah, I found with a lot of these games, it's just like, don't try to go as fast as possible, just go like a nice clip and just, to where you can still move. <laughs> I was wondering, like, for me, I was th thinking that the flags were somewhere kind of like a slalom or something. And it's like, no, I guess it's just another obstacle. I think, yeah. Can you go any faster than 30? Nope. <laughs> I'm on my last crash. Just gotta get to the mountain. And if you go fast enough, you proceed. To do more of this, seemingly. Uh-huh. Just That's with a, a slightly different well, color background. No, nah, well, maybe. Looks like there are different courses, so... I think one of the things that, that I'm struggling with on this is there's no real road. No. And I guess maybe that's the point, is that you're just driving along the desert and you make your own road. Yeah. We got YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain. Oh, well. Okay. And I lost. Because you didn't get faster? Yep. Okay, well now you know what you're doing. Not much I can do about the video. I did up... It uh, made it so it was a uh, higher bit rate. This is kind of an annoying game. So the button doesn't do anything, it looks like. Also, apparently you should be speeding up before the race starts, because we're already behind pace, I think. Come on. Come on. Also, it's just a really long stretch. So you want to be below the pace, not above. Yeah. Okay. But we're already behind. Okay. As in, we're above. Oh. Because okay. the pace is 33. I can't look at it and... and Avoid obstacles at the same time. As far as I can tell, we're a full ten seconds behind. I think? Anyway, I'm not 100% sure, I guess. Which one is ours? Oh, ran right into it. Talk about, <laughs> say that about the best mo racing game on the 2600. Best motorcycle racing game on the 2600. Are there others? I don't think I've played another one on the 2600. And I've played, at this point, nearly all of them. Nearly every game on the 2600. Have we played another motorcycle racing game? I'm trying to think. Well, I mean, there was in California games, there was a BMX. That's not a motorcycle. That's true, it's not a motorcycle, so it's a bike uh, it's a bike MX. I, w I think we should move on. This <laughs> There's not a lot to say about this or do with it. 
approaching desert bus territory. <laughs> Something like that. Have you heard of desert bus? Sure, but I feel like I could talk about more stuff with that. So we should do for a stream, just do desert bus. Sure. Eight hours. Look, there's a catharsis and something about that, I think, but... Well, you know, there was, I did try out the uh, uh, truck driving simulator. How'd that go? It's it's a freaking simulator, man. It's, it's you know, the first... I, I did it, and it, it, it threw me right in with two trailers. I'm like, are you kidding me? And you have to back it up. Like, into a spot. I'm like, are you... No way. Backing up two trailers is difficult, if you can't imagine. If I can, imagine. yeah. It's, uh... Gave me a lot of respect for truck drivers. Because I'm just like... When I was doing that, I'm like... When I see them just doing their thing, they, you know, back right in. Do-do-do-do-do, no problem. Sure, they definitely have like, some skills. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, uh-uh. I used to work with truck drivers. Oh, that's right. And they just pull right in, right? I mean, yep. it's just like No, they were pretty good at it. Yeah. They were also absolute crazy people but oh yeah yeah they were very i think you, i think very, you need uh, a certain mentality to to, to be a, a truck driver maybe to be able yeah. to just be like all right we're gonna be just driving that's all you're doing them and their c uh their cdls commercial driver license yeah okay so motocross racer was something it was a it's, racer yeah Let's see, Crown Beach Sprint Racer. Yeah, no, it just seems like for the most part it would be different backgrounds, but we ne were never good enough to find out. So. Let's see. The, uh, this one, no, no, no. See, it says Hill Climb. So this is what the Hill Climb looks like. Okay. And then Beach Sprint. That looks like pretty much the same thing, though. So I, I, I also think Hill Climb might be technically the same thing with a road. Maybe. Could be. Okay. But that's just my guess. Robin Hood. What? Okay, what Robin Hood? Is this based on... Oh, it's got a little opening cutscene. Now he's hanging out behind a tree. Got him. Almost got him. Got him. Got him. Did you get him? Hmm, got him. Got him. Okay, only left and right. That's fine. Oh, he got me. Got you. But thankfully, I got him. One thing I don't like is when you shoot, it stops you. It's just frustrating. You can't move. Like, in that case, you should be able to, kind of like Outlaw. Remember we were talking about that? I think once you shoot, yeah, you're stuck there. It's like, why? Can't you shoot and run? snuck up on me. Jerk. Your death animation looks very odd. Yeah, you the turn sprite. into a shrimp. Yeah. Your, your legs. <laughs> yeah, a shrimp. That's probably a pretty good. Uh, that's, how, you know. that's how I want to go out. Yeah. If I, when I die one day. If you I... be in the shrimp position instead of the fetal position? Yep. Shrimp position. Just kicked me in the head. Guess so. So this is. Do you assume there is anything else to it? I don't know. It seems pretty straightforward. Right. It seems like. Uh, is there anything else? I don't know. There's no counter that says you have to kill a certain amount of them. You know what Robin there, Hood game I? There is a bar though. I played a lot as a kid, but never actually understood. But now I want to go back and actually beat. Hmm. It was a Robin Hood game on the PS2, which made me assume that it was going to be like a swashbuckling adventure, yeah. but it was more of like, uh, oh, what are the, the, like Conqueror Kings or one of those games where you're like managing territory and like all this kind FPS of stuff. Yes, kind of, yeah. Or no, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, like a risk type game or something. Yeah. Where it was okay. like, you've got to do sieges and all of these different things. And it was one of the uh. most interesting games I, I was super interested even as a kid one even though i found out it wasn't what i thought it was but i was never good enough to actually because you know it was complicated and i was like seven okay so there's on the attract mode there's uh the you can when you 
insert your Robin Hood and the double ender turn on blah 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 um, screen number one will appear on your screen um, one of the sheriff's henchmen will be walking through Sherwood Forest setting up the ambush for Robin Hood I see it I see him during this screen the players may choose their skill levels and or the number of players who are going to play skill C skill levels when the two player game is selected the play action will re alternate between number one and player two after the, each Robin loses okay loses they put that in a freaking manual loses loses <laughs> you know you know there was a old Adult Swim show that I saw a clip of recently, and I can't stop thinking. It's a guy. Can't stop thinking of it. Wow. Yeah, it's a guy. Uh, he's got a snake for an arm and a beak and backwards legs. Anyway, he's talking to himself anyway. in, a, in a desert. Uh huh. And uh, he's insulting himself in a variety of ways. And one of the things he says is, "You snows, you lows." And uh, I've just been thinking about that since. Okay. The loose just vaguely made me think of it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so, so is there anything else though? I, I kind of feel yes, like we've got the is. breath. Or if there's not. a Nottingham Castle's entrance, and then there's a inside the castle. Okay, is that based on ending? this, yeah. or do uh, I have I'm to get gonna a certain find it. score? I'm gonna find it. Uh, so the forest ambush. You, Robin Hood, are on your way from. Let me go this way and make it easier. Um. You're on your way from your hideout deep in Sherwood Forest to the Sheriff of Nottingham Ca Sheriff of Nottingham's Castle. The Sherwood Manor Sheriff Castle. Sheriff 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 the Ghost Manor Castle. Yes, to save Maid Marian and return the Sheriff's gold to the peasant farmers. As you approach the edge of Sherwood Forest from the lower left part of the screen, the Sheriff's henchmen have hidden an ambush and you must fight your way out of the forest. You will have a total of six lives to complete your task, and each Robin will have a total of 16 arrows. The sheriff's men will try to shoot Robin with an arrow or sneak up on him and stab him with a knife. Usually the henchmen will appear from behind the tree from which they're hiding. By facing the henchmen and, and being on the same line uh, on the screen, you can shoot these men by shooting your arrows. You must shoot at least 11 of the sheriff's men before you're able to go to screen. Number Is it three. 11 without dying? I don't know. Right, it doesn't say that. So probably just 11 dudes. Because I feel like I've shot 11. Hold on. Let's let's start again. Okay. And I'll, I'll Count start them. counting. There's one. Uh-huh. Two. What? Did you come and sneak you up behind me? snuck up behind me. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that wasn't nine. I didn't get him. You got me first. Nine. <laughs> Ten. Just appeared. Great. He came out from under a tree. And I died. Yep. Okay, so let me try. Seems hard, given that they sneak up on you. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's do one, one. Also, Jeremiah, best motorcycle racing on the 2600. What's the second best? For real. Is there another one that I'm not thinking of? Oh, man, they, they go faster than you do. They do. I also think their arrows. Oh, what was that guy? That was no a, idea. That wasn't a sheriff. Oh, or it wasn't one of the sheriff's men. Hopefully, I didn't kill him. I don't know. Did you shoot him with an arrow? I don't know. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they come out of nowhere. Nice. Should count. Should have kept the count. Oh, whew. I don't like the fact you can't move afterwards. That's Me neither. Oh. He just ran and but didn't go anywhere. Yeah, he just disappeared. Phased out. Oh, really? Yeah, it also seems like their arrows might travel slightly faster than yours. That's frustrating. Okay, your little meter is blinking. Go to the top, maybe, or to the right. Oh, no. Nope. Ran out of lives. Okay. 
Because each sheriff's man appears to be worth 2,000 points. So once you get to 22,000, that will be 11. Sounds good. Yes, it's I still don't know who that guy is. Well, let's see. It says... Um, ah, your score will flash to indicate you're unable to move on to the castle entrance. Yep, you're right. Uh, to Where move do I... to screen three, you simply move okay. Robin off to the right side. There you go. Of the screen. But watch out. There's still being some men in ambush. Might be some men in ambush. Occasionally, Robin's merry men appear. So be careful when you shoot at, shoot at who you shoot at. Ah, don't shoot at your own dudes. Yeah. That's okay, so I am now here. Okay. Do I have to shoot 11 more men? Or what do I'm I do? looking. As Robin comes out of Sherwood Forest at the end uh, entrance to the sheriff's castle, he will appear in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Robin should move to the center of the castle foreground, for he must defeat six of the henchmen Get it. who are guarding the castle ground. Again, Robin has 16 arrows to complete his entrance and must not sure, be sure not to hit your own men. Oh, well, this actually looks kind of nice. The checkerboard, it does, and with the dark, it does kind of give okay. it a, a the sense of depth. Like Yeah, I can't shoot arrows anymore, so what okay. do I do? It says um, to climb the left or right side of the wall. Uh, castle is very, very difficult. Um, okay, so it says inside the castle. Robin will appear at the left of, left of the screen uh, in the basement's dungeon. There will be three doors on this floor, one which hides a uh, secret passage to the floor above, and the other two are guided by henchmen. So you're playing uh, freaking, uh, let's make a deal. <laughs> I died, so I'm um, going to start over. Okay. Well, well that's actually kind of neat, though. It is kind of neat. Um, I'd say it's a little difficult, but once you get the hang of it, it's not the worst, but... I think for me, the, the not moving when you shoot is... Kind not of moving, a, the fact that the guys can appear right on top of you. Yeah. Their arrows travel faster, which seems... Unfair. Odd. Yeah. I just feel like we could make this a better game just with a couple of tweaks. Sure. Know? but So, all in all, not terrible. Yeah. You want to know what I really think? Then watch the video later. But uh, where we rank in <laughs> retro grade? Yeah, it's grade. retro grade. This is a this is a small thing. I've always thought this, but it's sort of funny that our two shows are retro review and retro grade, yes. both of which technically mean the same thing when you think of it in a certain fashion. Okay, like a review and, and grading. Sure. You, well, it doesn't really matter. It's just sort of funny. Yeah. Well, we could have called it something else, but you weren't there when we were discussing names. So. Yeah, you could have texted me. You could have shot me a a I DM. I shot you. Could have shot you. You could have written me a letter. You could have hit me up on kick. Kick? Or whatever. What the hell's kick? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a messaging app. What's up or something? Yeah. Like one of those. You could have messaged me on, on, at my World of Warcraft sent, account. Sent, sent a carrier, carrier pigeon. Could have thrown a rock at my house. Left a left a note on the door. Sure. <laughs> let's move on. Great, yeah. Let's move on. You. <laughs> I did it again, didn't I? I'm gonna. I give, know how much you love it. You know so what I'm gonna give for Christmas? Improv classes. <laughs> what is? I'm sorry. What's Sir this Lance one called? a lot. And I think it's like joust, but you have to you have to get your lance. Uh, you have to stab him with your your lance. Okay. Which, I was like going, oh, okay, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Yeah, got him. Oh. Oh. Uh. Am I supposed to get? I think so. I got him. I'm the greatest Lancelot player in the world. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> Not so much. Too cocky. 
So I think you actually have to stab him with your lance. You can't just be higher than him, like in Joust. I think so. Yeah, uh, which it's is just a lot more difficult that way. A little bit. Especially these guys. These guys hurt you bad. Oh, I thought I was going to get him. Kind of cool that there are different sprites for each uh, level. The different yep. dragons. Yep. See, these guys are, are a lot easier to kill. Yeah! Oh, maybe I need to go. So what I did first is I went over here, saw her, and now I have the power! I've got the power! Or, I should say, by, you know, by the power of Grayskull. <laughs> Either way. Oh. These ones are interesting because they, like, turn around. Interesting. So you get to the second level. Oh, wow. He's way faster. <laughs> Help me, pink woman. <laughs> or pink guy? Pink. Yeah, somebody. Oh, I died. Seen any good movies lately? <laughs> Uh, I watched... Oh. Oh, oh, no! Fell into the toxic river. Yeah! It'd be nice if there was some indicator that showed that you're, you've, you're ready to go. Oh, those look cool. They also change uh, level. Like they don't all stay on the same ah. plane forever. Ah! That was good. This one's kind of fun. This it one's straightforward, really but it good. works. It, it, it looks works for itself really, good. really well. And the slight addition of challenge every time. I, I actually am a big fan of this. Uh, and it, movies, a Scrooge, A Christmas Carol came out a year or two ago on Netflix. Okay. It's a musical, uh, Christmas Carol. It's so not spirited. No. <laughs> Another Christmas Carol musical. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, kind of the <laughs> issue is. It's an animated one, oh. and it's pretty well animated, except the people look kind of weird. Oh, okay. Uh, and there's a couple of, there's a few minor issues, but I tell you, oh. the songs, even though they're not all the best songs in the world, the, the guys who, the people who are singing them absolutely sing their hearts out, and it's, <laughs> it's got a lot of passion behind it, so I appreciate cool. that. I don't think I've heard of it. What is it called? Just a Christmas Scrooge, Carol? Scrooge, a Just... Christmas Carol. Ah, okay. Also, one thing I, d I was very mixed on is Scrooge has a dog. Okay. Which... Why would he have a dog? Yeah. That seems very... It was Jacob character. Marley's dog, and he, oh, like, okay. took it. Oh, that it. was weird. Did you hear that? It was like a... Oh, uh, you've been stunned. Quick. You need to get the blessing again. Is that what it is? Yeah, every uh -oh. time you get hit after you get the blessing, you got to get it again. No! <laughs> there you go. Also, the fact that you don't die from the fire blasts, but you have to, like, you know, uh -huh. survive is actually quite intense. I, I like this that a bit. This is very good, actually. This, this, is, this one's fun. See, but they follow you up to the different Oh, wow, planes. yeah, they do. That's kind of annoying. It's like, uh... All right, let's see what dragon you fight this time. Whoa! The, he's he's really wheeling and dealing. Get him! You got him! You almost uh, had him. Uh, uh. He stunned the you. The stunning thing is interesting. Yeah. Oh! Uh. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> he, uh... Wow. He stun-locked you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Wow! Okay. So, after a moment, uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult to recover from the. <laughs> ow, 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 ow! It just seems mean at that point. Yeah. It reminds me of, like, of a fighting game. You know, when you get somebody in the corner yep. and you just keep beating the hell out of them and yep. there's no way they can recover. Not that I've ever, ever done that before. You juggle them? Yep. <laughs> that was good, though. I really like that. Okay, next up is Spike's Peak. Looks pretty uh, good. So let's see. So movies. 
Uh, we watched, yeah, we finished up FUBAR as a TV, TV show, but close enough. What am I, I don't am know. I doing something? This kind okay, of me so of, like, something Donkey interesting Kong something. is uh, the button is what moves. Oh, <laughs> like you repeatedly press the button to move. Okay. Instead of up, down, left, right. That's yeah. weird. I don't really know if I can duck. I don't know. I cannot. Okay. Okay. Let's see what the manual says. Seems like they really liked having the multiple screens on, on the Xanax games, which is totally cool. I'm, I'm definitely down. Why is there a Yeti now instead of a bird? I don't know. You control Spike on a climb to reach the top of the mountain, peak of the mountain. Then the bird comes back. Okay, sure. Um, control is played with the left joystick and fire button. Okay. Um, mountain screen one. Mountain is distance with flags in the foreground. Okay, so that's just yeah. Screen two. This is the meadows. Zigzag path starting at the lower right. Um, I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I know. Ascending up the path through the meadows. Safety in safety in brown canyons and empty black caves without bears. You'll see their eyes. Be careful of muddy water slides, eagles, and bears. So you can stop on like the, the brown spots. Yeah. Okay. So, but it doesn't Except look I like you're can't. hiding. So this just shows your lives. Like, is, am I hiding right now? I don't think no. so. Can you see me? Yes. Okay. Oh, Still gets me. I have seemingly no way to meaningfully interact with anything. Let me, I can read more. Um, follow the path up the hill and hide from the eagles and the bears. Listen for the screech of the eagle before it attacks. You snows, you loves. It's true. You do. Your objective is to try to reach the top of the mountain path and then climb to screen three, screen three, the rocky ledge. Get in the cave, dark rectangle or canyon, lighter rectangle to hide. Push the joystick down to get in the canyons and up to get in the caves. Pardon? Up or down when you're on one of those. Okay. Can you go backwards or no? No. Oh, that sucks. I, n that didn't do anything. Huh. Pressing up or down did nothing. It did nothing. Is it that you're, you're bypassing it? So I think that's what I was talking about, the eyes, the caves. Sure, have eyes I see and no. that, but yeah. I walk over to here. At no point does pushing down do anything. Doubt I'll do any better, but it's so weird that you can't. Also, you're stuck there, and then a bird kills you. Huh. I ain't even snowsin'. Why am I losing? The game looks great. Right. And but plays. Badly. Awful. But if you can't jump or you can't do anything else... It makes else, zero sense. And once you get there, if you're... Okay, go. And then the eagle kills you. You can't wait. And then the, the eagle just comes and murders you. Murder eagle? A murder eagle. Okay, what are we missing? This seems weird. Yeah, I have no idea what we're doing wrong. Um, use the fire button to jump over the water. Vertical obstacle in path. And to get out. Um, but the fire button moves. So are we playing it wrong somehow? Did a button get crossed for just this game? Let me, let me read... Uh... Let me 
me see if there's anything that shows. He's <laughs> just going through and just dying over and over and over again. Yeah, just to kind of see what happens here. Use the fire button to jump over. Huh. <clears throat> okay. Nothing to jump over. Uh, I think we're good. Something. Let me try something. Real okay. Quick. Let me try launching it with Stella. See if it's any better. Um, that's annoying. It's doing the same thing in Stella. So, <sighs> this is not good. This is a bad game. How does one play this without just dying? I mean, it's like, <laughs> this is just really bad. I mean, I want to like it because the, the graphics and stuff are really cool. But yeah, but it's just not playable. I don't, I don't know. We're missing something, Jeremiah. Definitely call it out. Um, okay, next up is Tomark the Barbarian. Tomark. All right. <laughs> Woo! That's some high jumping. Looks like a rat over there. Jesus. <laughs> Uh-oh, a rat killed you or hurt you. Stole something? I'm not I'm not sure what that rat did. Can you go to the right or no? Oh, what was that? No idea. Oh, did you speed it up? Is that what it was? Oh, what's that? Okay. Where am I? I'm a wizard? I guess. How did this happen? I don't know. I can look at the menu. Am I still Tomark? I have no idea. Object of the game. Tomark must rescue Senta from prison by finding the sword to break open the cage. Avoid the rats in the caves and shoot the bats attacking Senta. You control both Tomark and Senta in two separate game screens. So I guess you're Senta right now. Yeah, that I got, but how you do I go back to bat? Tomark? I don't know. Okay. Oh. You what hit you down. Okay. So it looks like there is supposed to be a sword on one of the levels. Can you go over there? I can try. So it does have like a map of the whole level here. Okay. There. Oh, I gotta go. There's a there's a this. There's a this. There we go. Oh, whoa. So you can go up through there? Yeah, but... How do you stop falling down? Weird. You don't. The rat had you. And then we died. And everyone's dead. Everyone's dead, Dave. Everyone's dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. Everybody's dead. Okay. So we can look at the map here. I think you want to go up if you can there. Okay. But can you get on that ledge maybe? No, you once you jump, you have no control over your stuff oh. anymore. Huh. Cuz it looks like up and so go to the go to the left. Can you go to the left screen? Go up there. So there should be a sword there. 
her, bro. According to this, though, it's supposed to be a sword. There is neither a sword nor a way to get up. Hmm. Well, let's see. It says... Um... Tomark, search, Tomark searches the caves. Um, when you start the game, you'll be in control of Tomark. He will be located in one of the three bottom level caves. And each of the caves on the level will be a deadly monster rat whose bite will cause a lot... Cause the life, loss of one of your eight lives. Explore the caves on the bottom level first and try to find the sword. If the caves are empty, you will have to leap to the next level and continue your search. On the second level, there will be two rats in each cave and they will move faster than the lower level rats. The sword is not on this level. You must go to the top level where the three rats await in each room. Okay. Once you have picked up the sword, the life indicators at the top of the screen will change color. You must now move Tomark into the top center cave and leap out through one of the two cave exits in order to save Senta. Uh, it doesn't... I don't think... I have no idea how I'm supposed to be getting up to this next level. Play action. It says, in order to direct Tomark in his search for the caves of the caves, you must master the art of avoiding the deadly rats and jumping from cave to cave. Also, they just look like regular rats, so they did a really bad job of making them seem like a threat I should be worried about. Right. I am 40 times larger than them. <laughs> says, move the joystick left or right when the game begins and you will start Tomark walking. Press the fire button and he jumps. <laughs> the longer you hold the fire button, the higher he will jump. By combining a walking motion in one direction and a jump, he will travel in an arc. Okay. With practice, so I think what it is is you're falling into the uh, pit because you go straight down is the problem. I guess, yeah. Uh -oh. But it's it was a very difficult feat to jump Because it's not, di diagonal is not the case, right? It's just left and right and buttons, I think. See, because now I've got to jump back over you here. You need to, to go to the left a little bit. And then, like that, or... You see how difficult... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I got you. So you have to, like, really get a good arc going, like, if you want to go over there. Because if you hit the your head, then you, you're done, right? Yeah. All of your ah, momentum but you instantly can, ceases. You can't... You can also not hit the button as long, maybe. Oh, red level. So this is the third level. Right? Yeah. Three rats. Oh, you don't have the sword, though. No. So... You need the sword in order to be able to free her. Okay. Thump. Great, thanks. You can start over. Now that you kind of know a little bit more. Sure, I, I suppose. So you want to try to find it on the first level, ideally. Yeah, well, if it doesn't exist there, that's not... Well, I mean, yeah. Not gonna so happen. So you don't have it on the first level. See, and that just took two lives because it doesn't Oof. give any frames of invincibility or nothing. Okay, so that's it for this level. Now you gotta go up to the third level, I guess. There it is. And I think you just want to go up from here once you get it. Oh, come on. I didn't ah, even... Ah, but it, it, you can't control it after it now, huh? No, and he's gonna drop ah. all the way down. Can you just go up from there then? Or no? I, yeah, no, I can. It's just pain. Can you go up from, like, from here to here or you fall down so you can't? It right? would be difficult to do. I can okay. try, but... No, it's fine. I'm just... You know, I feel like this is sort of like... We didn't have, at this point, like, Mario physics with jumping and stuff. So it's a little... <laughs> Man, I want to like the uh, things they're doing with this game, but the controls are awful. Right. This is an unfun experience.
All right, let's move on. Well, I want to try. All right, fine. It's a little bit difficult. Oh, yeah, You'll get yeah. the hang of it eventually, but it, it really does take a lot. Now you gotta press down to go shoot a bat whenever you oh. hear that noise. Oh really? Is that what that is? Yeah. Ah, I didn't realize that was the case. Now you gotta wait for the slow rat, so that you can get back far enough to make that jump. There you go. Yeah, getting the timing just right is annoying. Nope, nope, go away. Yeah, it's like the, the order in which you push the button and the control really matter. And yeah, not... and it just makes it annoying more than anything. Dang it. And you also like pause, which is annoying. It's like, why, why am I paused? You know? Uh, yeah. Ugh, this is a slog. And again, they don't do very much to make the rats feel like that, because you don't even... Yep, and there you go. jump through. And now it forces you to watch him jump all the way back down with no input from you on whether or not you stop anywhere. Right. Kind, okay. of, a, kind of a mild fart to go out on on Zonox. <laughs> I wanted to like it, though. There's Again, this is, in a, this is a game that could be fixed. Oh, sure. It, but it sure wasn't. It wasn't, yeah. So now we're looking at Comavid. Comavid. Okay. Comavid. Cakewalk. Here you go. Ooh. I love the comma. They use the comma everywhere for their branding. Oh. Not a nine. It's a comma. Of course. Is this Looks okay. like a tapper? Okay. <laughs> okay. What are you trying to do then? He's cleaning that one up. Yep. <laughs> okay. You should have just stayed there, bud. Okay, so oh oh so you have to direct him across? Oh you can freeze him. Okay. Okay, so that's already difficult. So you freeze them. You but only you freeze, only one, freeze at a time. one at a time. Oof, that's rough. And there's three coming at you first thing, right away. There might be a. You might be able to change the difficulty. Also, this takes a really long time for him to come and clean up. Can you unfreeze it? No, it just freezes. That's annoying. When they come at the same time, I mean, I guess you just have to go fast. I guess there's a little bit of slop. I guess. Hmm. Also, you can't catch them as they're falling or anything. Right. He's sitting there waiting for you to, to mess up there. Okay, Riveting like, gameplay. Seems like you're getting the hang of it, though. Sure, yeah. Doesn't look bad. Oh. Get some coffee? 
That was a life, I guess. Okay, what is this guy? I don't know. It's not a cake. It's just a, a dude with a pitchfork, it looks like. Should I not interact I with don't him? know. Actually, I would think you want to, but I don't know. No, nope. nope, he kills me. So you just want to avoid that guy. All right. Then I just get cleaned up like any other cake. <laughs> right. Which is a little terrifying, actually. See, now at this speed, it seems fine. It was going super fast for the first level. It seems easier. Yeah. Somehow. Now, the problem is you can't get by that guy. There you go. Just trying to see which one's gonna come faster. It's a little dull once you get the hang of it. It's not so much riveting as it is just. Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't get pitchforked by a guy who doesn't like your cakes? I guess. Go get the coffee though. Oh man, they're really coming now. Yeah, kind of very tapper like. Oh Jesus. How the hell are you supposed to do that? That's getting a little ridiculous. Yeah, especially with only one that you can pause at a time. Yeah, that's kind of that's not fair. Ah, oh, come on! What? I think if they'd have had less lanes, that might have been more doable, but, you know? Sure, yeah. Are you freezing them, everyone, as you're going by? Apparently. Or? Doesn't help, by the way. Ah. And now I've closed. All right. That's it. Huh. guy's got to come all the way out here takes forever in the day he can pause all the cakes you know I feel like about three feet of extra conveyor belt would have solved the problem to have needed by you know solved by this man just being here this chef doesn't need to do this no Unneeded work by the, by the baker. At least when you've already got the conveyor belts. Yeah, just keep them going. Why do you need to have a person involved? It's not like he's checking them for quality. No, he's just passing them on through. Just stamps his seal of approval. Just throws them on. He doesn't even care. Nope. He doesn't even like this job. He doesn't even like cake. He hates cake. I think we can move on from this one. You think? I think uh, so. Cakewalk. All right. Next on to Cosmic Swarm, another in a long line of games with Cosmic in the name. Yes. Has a, has a rich history. I'm shooting... Bugs? Space bug alligators. Now, the problem is if they get to the bottom of the... Oh, they, just, they put us cube there. Okay, and the cube is deadly. Okay. Do I have to shoot the cubes? Oh, no. I'm not... The controls are a little confusing. Oh. Interesting. So he drops it off. That's when you hold... Huh? Weird. You can only really control your turn when you hold the button. Weird. Oh, there's a... Is that a dude over there? A bad guy or good guy? Or I have no idea. Give it a shot. That's weird. Oh, that is bizarre. If it had, like, asteroids controls, that'd be good. Okay. I mean, it's got the asteroid ship. <laughs> like that oh that, that controls are really wonky what? oh 
was able to shoot one of them. Maybe because it turned red? Alright, there's that thing. Go get it. Or destroy it. And you lost. I lost? Wow. So I guess don't do that. Yeah, another cosmic game. Yeah! Lo good name, I guess. Because everybody was using it. People are obsessed with space. The controls are just too weird on this. Ugh. Yeah, they don't feel good at all. The game itself isn't horrible, though. I mean, I, the concept of the game is maybe not bad, but... I mean, the obstacles that... Ugh. We should be nice if we could destroy them, though. But actually bad. It looks like there's a... Some of you grab it? I... I don't know what that did. Okay. Okay, so you don't want to shoot it. You tried that, right? And we died? Yeah, seemingly. So... What the hell was the point of that? I don't know. Anyway, um, the concept is actually kind of neat. But the controls just make it... Nigh unto unplayable. What's weird is when you get on top of it, it doesn't, uh... doesn't trip out anymore. No, it doesn't. It does not. Ugh. This would be... See, if this were a game that had two, like, joysticks, oh, yeah. this would be perfect. Yeah, because if you did, like, Robotron controls or something, yeah, that would be cool. But, but nope. But, yeah. Uh, Twin stick shooter? That would be great for yeah. that. Yeah. Mines, Mines of Minos. They're a little early for that, though. Yeah. Okay. Great. Do something. We're make. <laughs> what do you? W there, Just I did something. Do something. Play the game. I'm doing it. Left down, left right doesn't do anything. It does this, 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 and this. You're trying the the, the uh, that one. Yeah, I was wondering. You were using the directional. You wasn't. You weren't using the stick. I was using the stick. So what, what changed? I don't know. Uh oh, bad guy. Uh oh. Well, I guess that's not an attack. I guess not. What do it I almost seems do? like it's like a... If you were going to, like... Like a boomerang kind of sort of reminds you of the, the pulsing sound, you know? Okay, so you left that like a bomb kind of thing. I bomb it and move. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Probably want to get that orange thing. That makes sense. Oh, did that guy didn't die though? They respawn. Oh. Very, very quickly apparently. Oh. oh, that was maybe be a respawn thingy. The orange square. Oh boy. It's a lot of. Too many. I'm not. I'm not dealing with all that. Let's just go to one and. One and done. One and done. No magic card? Uh, not today, probably. I'm actually not sure. Magic card? Yeah, it was a thing. It was in the game. Um, so, I'm actually kind of curious. Wasn't it? Was it to... Oh, and if you touch them while they're dying, you still oh, die. That's dumb. Uh, was it to copy games? Or what was magic card actually for? I don't remember. I know it's not a game, so that's why I didn't include it. Um, but... Don't oh, yep. I forgot because it doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Right. Also, you have to be pretty perfect on some of those turns. Oh, you can go left and right. I wonder if that does the tunnel thing. Secret tunnel. It does. I did that earlier. Oh, okay. Now so I'm holding the thing. gold thing. What do I do with it?
Do I take it back down? I don't know. I could look it up if we need to. Oh man, game developers back in the day sure did love to just add footsteps that sounded awful. Tink, 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 tink. Okay. Okay, I guess that was, you did the thing. I, I got a goal. Yay. Score. Oh. Woohoo. His legs are kind of funny looking. Kind yeah. Of... Well, he's kind of funny looking. Yeah. You know, he kind of looks like a tank with legs. gonna be another guy or yep oh you didn't die that time that's cool okay you get it back right away okay. it was a programming cartridge like basic programming ah okay oh there's your thingy oh water interesting or blue of some sort So it looks like it is like flooding or something. Which is from odd that it's top. from the top. Yeah, it's kind of odd. At least you can use that the bomb while you're you have the thing. Yeah, but you cannot in this water. Ah, okay. Oh crap, that guy's on. <laughs> Great. And then you're dead and then it's over, seemingly. Oh, I got fifty points though. I don't know. Are you not able to move? No. Let me try real quick. Okay. Does it stay there forever? Nope. Okay, once I go off the screen, it goes away? I'm not sure. It just goes away after a moment. Oh, yeah, it's really hard to. Make Navigation's those not great. Those corners can be annoying. If you're not perfectly on it, it's, you're gonna get stuck. It sucks. Ah! Ah! Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, I can't use two! At least there's no like delays or anything crappy while you when you drop that. So if they're right on your tail, you can drop it and, and kill them. Jesus. Yeah, except they respawn at such a speed that by the time they clear out and you can no are no longer gonna get hurt by the explosion, they're already there again yep. normally. Yep. So frustrating. It's a frustrating game. Come Magic Card was on. the only non Atari cartridge that used the keyboard controllers. Interesting. Come on, baby. Was it better than basic programming? Wouldn't be that hard. <laughs> Alright, go score your goal at the bottom of this geometric shape. Be a little bit of slop when you're turning the corner. Maybe just a lot, yeah. Kind of like and there's the fast in, guy. Kind of like in Pac Man, where um, you kind of. Oh no, that's not going to happen. Um, and also, the one life thing kind of sucks. Did I, is that it? You die, yeah. you're dead. You're dead. Uh, it doesn't seem to go anywhere. Oh. And then when you hit, you know, the only thing that seems to start you over is hitting start, and then you go well, back to zero. It's weird, I can keep doing the fire button thing. Which sure. Is very odd. All right, let's move on. Room of Doom. Okay. Oh, there was another game that should have shown up. I'll have to find it. I think it didn't go into the normal selection here. That's odd looking. Interesting. It's like an old 
arena battle again. It's like I'm fighting Godzilla and fighting it's and like, some guys. Oh, and they, they close up, so you have to get them just the right time. Room of Doom. The Doom Room. No, Room of Doom. What was that? Oh, he's just holding it? Just no. pressing it a lot. Are you oh, able and to... it's another one where you can't touch him even as he's dying. Uh, oh. So, uh, we were talking earlier about the streams. So, we've got three more streams after this. Uh-huh. Um, and um, so... What we want to do is after the streams are done, after the 2600 is done, uh, we were talking about doing like, we still haven't figured out a name for it. If you have a good name, let us know. But doing something where it's, it's going to be us playing games and chatting and stuff. It'll be in the Sunday time huh. slot. Here's the new room. Cool. Instead of Godzilla, it's the it's water bug. Mothra. <laughs> oh. So, but we're looking at, with that one, probably kind of yeah. just... Um, playing whatever, uh, and you know, if you have stuff that uh, you've been wanting to play, I mean, playing some of these games, it makes me think of other games that's like, oh, it'd be so cool if we could play that game. What uh, does this game remind you of then, apparently? It reminds me a little bit of Chaos, um, which is an awesome game. Awesome. awesome. Nice. It was a game that I spent many hours in college playing. Originally came out on the ZX Spectrum, um, and uh, it was uh, remade on the Atari ST. It was a freeware game, and what was interesting about it is that he used the the developer used samples from lots of movies and TV shows, especially Red Dwarf and um highlander samples yes as an audio um like when you died and when you hit somebody else uh-huh um you know it was uh really really cool it, it added a lot um and uh but it was just oh. but it's a wizard's fighting game and so you could have eight people playing Wizard time um and it had uh, you had eight people, and you could have you know any number of computer players within that too. So eight computer and or human players, um, and you had the spell list that it was randomized. So you would get you know each person would get certain spells, and the thing was that was interesting is you know you would use the keyboard to be able to select what your uh, your spells, but the problem is. Other people could see when you were typing what spell you were going to cast. So what we would do is we'd have it be like, okay, look away. So people would look away while the other person hits the letter or whatever for that spell. Um, but one of the things they also had is they had these you know, monsters that you could cast. And um, they would be, you could do a uh, as an illusion. And so some of them are really hard to cast. And so um, they would last, though, if no one disbelieved them. There was a spell called Disbelieve. Oh. That would uh, basically, uh, it would just kill it immediately if it was a... If it was a uh, An illusion. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. So not all the windows open up here. So you have to kind of do it in the order that they want you to do it. It's kind of weird. Anyway, um, really, really cool game. Uh Again, it's one of those that would be amazing to have like an eight player game going. Um, yeah. That'd be uh, that's did, a lot. I did that in college. It was, I had a bunch of guys in my, my dorm room and we would be playing that game until the wee hours of the night. So, morning, night, whatever. No, eh, say whatever. I, I got you either way. A lot. <laughs> Late. Late. Come on, every time I want to go shoot, the door like closes. So it's like time here to wait. 
Wait, 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 wait. Well, maybe we should move on though. We do have a whole other company to get to. That's true. Okay, let's move on. And we still have two combat. Stronghold. Bids. Actually, three. I need to find the other one. Oh. Stronghold. Rush Hour is another one I think that was a prototype, so we won't spend that much time on it. But okay. Go ahead. What is this? Stronghold? Okay. Oh, it's kind of weird. This doesn't seem like a stronghold. Seems like a Cooper kind of guy or something. I don't know. He's a comma. <laughs> is he? Is that yeah, what in certain going ways. And he looks like a comma right there. <laughs> that was probably not coincidental. Perhaps not. This is difficult. Because you can't shoot left or right. You can shoot up or down or diagonal. Hmm. That's kind of weird. So let's see. So what did we watch? We watched... We're talking about movies. We watched some stuff. Sure. Uh, what, what, what have you we been watched, watching? We, we rewatched Spirited. Because Daphne and Tristan hadn't seen it. My, my kid and her boyfriend. Um, yeah, I know. So, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. I, I'm aware. <laughs> um, what was that? Very. Oh, now it's a breakout game. Interesting. Um, those those well, graphics look kind of cool on those like infinity uh, symbols. Those look badass. Those, those infinity symbol graphics. Those look neat. Anyway, um, spirited, great, great Christmas movie. Another, you know, uh, uh, what you gonna call it? Christmas Carol. Yeah, Christmas Carol adaptation. Ah, oh, come on. And I love how they actually reference it. Yeah. You mean like Scrooge? Yeah, like Scrooge and then all the other ones that no one asked for. <laughs> so no. Um, a lot of good humor. Uh, good afternoon. Anyway. Sure, yeah, right. Um, what else? Uh, Brandy hadn't seen Wolf of Wall Street, so we watched that last night. Very Christmassy. Yeah, very Christmassy. It was, uh, it was like Netflix was like, oh, it's going to leave at the end of the month. So I'm like, all right, well, she hasn't seen it yet, so... Um, the movie was good for a watch, but I, after the first time, I don't know that I'd ever really want to watch it again. Uh, you know, it wasn't horrible. I watched, you know, I, I watched it for the first time not that long ago, and so I was like, "Ah, oh, right, I got him." Nice. Um, no, I, the deal is, is that it's it's very packed. Even though it's three hours long, there's there's no downtime in that movie. It is just constant, just all the crap that went on. Um, we watched a movie called Bad Words. Have you seen okay. that? Okay, no. Where a 40-year-old guy uh, has a loophole and is able to go into a spelling bee. Okay. For eighth graders. Yeah. Why would... Okay, sure. <laughs> That's part of the movie. It's funny, you know, why the hell he's doing this? And at first it's a little awkward, but it's Jason Bateman. And he, um, he has some of the... the best or worst cut downs you'll ever hear um obviously i can't repeat any of them on this All channel right. if you want to try a but, little bit go ahead but we should uh, probably also yeah. move on because yeah. we still have i got you two more of these um but uh definitely worth a watch it was one i, I saw someone suggested i'm like yeah sure why not um but uh yeah we've been, we've been watching quite a bit lately uh peanut butter falcon have you seen that one no that's a good movie. I've it's never good. even heard of that. Ah, it's uh, Shia LaBeouf. And... Shia LaBeouf. Yep. I was, uh, actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. I know, I know of him. Yeah. Peanut Butter Falcon. Yes. Wait, maybe I have heard of that. It's a kind of a... I would say it's kind of family-ish. It's kind of a family-ish movie. Um, I want to say it's probably only PG. Um, but, uh... Oh, no. It's a no, it's a cute movie. Uh, I don't, yeah, it's like yeah, it's a ah, it's about a kid with Down syndrome finding this guy who's kind of a loser, and they go on an adventure. It's very uh, Mark Twainish, like uh, yeah, so. It so actually involves a like a raft. They build a raft, hmm. so they go they go on an adventure. It's, it's kind of neat. It's uh. Definitely Mark kind Twainish. Of a, Nobody a calls each other a slur, right? No, no, no. Um, it's a, uh, um, the, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a cute movie though. I don't know how to recommend it. Okay, Video Life. 
I'm guessing this is a game, but I'm not sure. I don't know what else it would be. Well, it just sounds like a weird name for a game, too. Kind of a neat little uh, intro thing there. So I don't know what you're trying to do at all, so. Looks like maybe you want to go up in that? Nope. What are you doing? Weird. You drawing? Apparently. Is it a big etch -a sketch I'm uncertain. So it looks like, are these coordinates or something the, on the right hand side? I guess. Okay, I gotta look up video life. This might be just like a, a drawing game, which not horrible. But we probably don't need to play it too much here. Um, okay. Nope, nope, nope. Video My Life is an unusual me. video game. The object of playing Video Life is not to achieve a high score, but to rather create beautiful changing patterns from simple beginnings. Um, let's see. What does it say here? Oh. Uh, press the fire on the right joystick and your picture will begin to grow in new patterns. Press the fire button. Oh, you have to turn it on, yeah. So it sounds I'm like it might it be fun. like a fractal kind of thing. Oh, weird. Yeah, I think it's kind of like, oh, it's the game of life. Have you heard of the game of life? It's a, a game that uses like fractal patterns to... I'm pretty sure the only yeah. game of life I know of involves a spinner and pegs. Conroy's game of life. It's a very old um, thing. An old... Game, game is my not. boat has become an asteroid field or something. There you go. Uh, it's a cellular cellular automaton uh, devised by the um, British mathematician John Horton Conway in 1970. It is a zero-player game, meaning that its evolution is determined by its initial state, requiring no further input. All right, let's see what happens. I put on a bunch of stuff. And it's just doing stuff. So here's an animation of it. See, it does like this interesting, interesting. animation. Very similar to this, actually. It's one of those things I've seen it before. And it's kind of like, oh, neat. And move on, <laughs> you know. But you can change what it's going to start off as. That's kind of a neat, neat concept. But it's not really a game. It's not. <laughs> it's more of a demo. In a okay. Way. And when you Did hit you start, clear? it clears it. Okay, so put like a couple. There you go, and then start it. Let's see what it does. So I think these are the generations. So okay. if you look at the numbers up there as a generation count. So it just keeps morphing. Pretty neat. Yeah. But not quite. I again. wonder what a little vault. Hold on. You know what we can do? Oh, there you go. Oh, that's much cooler looking. Wow. Oh, that looks so cool. Imagine if it had ran at this speed. That would yeah. be so much neater. Uh, wow. It's like watching bacteria this is, divide. This is what it normally looked like when playing like playing Game of Life. I see. So this it wasn't all slow like that. So. Because, so yeah, when it's real slow, it's a little, uh, little dry, but this is pretty cool. All of these are just spinning. And then some of them they'll get they'll attach yep. and they'll yes it is like cellular automata it's a it's like uh, watching yes. stuff under a microscope actually it, that's the what it's meant to be like but a with petri math. dish yep but with math it's neat all right ready to move on almost okay. I want to get to more. ten oh okay ten so ten so a thousand generations yeah that's neat. It says, all right, ready? Yep. All right, so let's find that other game because it's uh, it may not have had the right uh, publisher set. Rush Hour, unreleased prototype. Wall, lunchbox. No, go away. Why are you? We had an error. Okay. So let's put it under comma bid. Um. All right, there we go. 
And it gave it its box art, too. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Let's do it. So you're going left, I guess? Whoa! It's supposed to be like jet car? Holy crap, you're going fast. <laughs> so how are you supposed to avoid that? Go on the sides, I guess? I'm not sure. Fire! Wow. Whoa. Oh, whoa! There's some glitches in there. There's a reason why it's still a prototype. But normally they're playable. This one kind of screws up. <laughs> well, we don't have to give this one too much time. But concept of it's kind of cool. You can really get going. You want to give it a try real quick? Sure. Oh, you can fire? Oh, apparently. That, okay, I guess that's how you... Oh, that's like a wreck. Oh, interesting. So left and right does acceleration and deceleration. Quite, uh, quite this a noise. This is kind of crazy. Because it doesn't bit. like stay in one line and starts going crazy. I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't finish this. This would have been one of the more interesting games on the 2600 if they had. Because <laughs> you really get moving. Oh, man, some of those glitches are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if we keep playing, we might want to throw up an epilepsy warning yeah, yeah. somewhere. It's getting a little nuts. It's kind of cool, like the, the, the wrecks are still on the screen. Oh. Turned you into cheese. Yes. All right, next is Zellers. Zellers. Okay, so these have some funky boxes. Challenge, there uh, you go. Is that one Dig Dug? No, I don't think so. Really, just quick, exit this. That just looks like Dig Dug. Yeah, like they took the exact box art and like, yeah. Slapped time warp on it. Uh huh. Interesting, okay. Yeah, it's possible that this is not a real box art for it. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Jeremiah knows anything about these games or not, but. Nope. Got some major flashing going on. Yep. It's like little pigs or what are those? So there's, are those I don't know, walls? but don't touch them. Okay, so that's walls. You can only go up Yep. So you have to go the zigzag pattern, it looks like. Ah, can you shoot or anything? No. You kind of look like Snoopy. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't Snoopy know. Snoopy was having to. a real problem. Well, but look at him. Look at his head. It looks like Snoopy. Just not colored. Interesting. If sure. If you were white. Then he totally like like Snoopy with the I don't know, it'd be hard to do a black nose, but black on black background. I'm just wondering how you're supposed to do this with these guys hauling it like they do. Okay, oh. you almost made it there, past him. It's quite difficult, actually. Kind of bugs me that the, the note on there is one of them is wrong. One of the what note? It's just the the tune. Oh, I it's see. It's off pitch. It's weird. Ah, oh, I couldn't. I was in the wrong spot. You also have to be very specific in which spot you're in. Oh, you got past it. Nice. Oh, not. What the hell is that? Not. Not. Weird.
Uh, should have stayed Not. on that one. It would be nice if they had maybe a little more music also. It, it, what I don't understand is why are they flashing? Why did they make the lines flashing? The it seems like that would be part of the uh, the background. Ah. You know, they could have made it a separate color, but the flashing is odd to me. Unless they are going to be able to be removable. Which that may be the case, but... Couldn't tell you on that one, because so, so far you, it doesn't seem would like Would you it. say that this game is challenging? I guess. If you're gonna make me say that, yeah. It's, it's a real challenge. You give it a shot. Alright. You have three lives left. See what you can do. Man, that that flashing is just uh, kind of annoying, yeah. Makes it really hard to focus on what I'm doing. Oh, oh yeah, you can't Nope. Wait, the you not have to be What does that not mean? Every, you get a letter. I assume it spells oh. something else. Weird. Every time you loop. Oh, is that what it was? I wasn't paying attention to that. That was dumb. <laughs> yeah, you'll get an N at the top, and then an O down here, and then a T up here. Okay. It's like they have to have a note every time. It's like the little, 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 little. I haven't got any other letters. Seems like not bad. Is what you're gonna uh. be getting. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Did you just make a Tim Allen noise? No, it was my attempt at a Java noise. Ah. Not bad. Are you kidding me? I, that was awesome. I rocked that. Why would it tell me not bad? Because that's all you are to this game. I guess. Not bad. You weird Yoshi looking duck. Looks kind of like duck a, Oh, now we got two? Oh, jeez. Ah. Yeah, I do not like that. You have to be in the center. Yeah, it's, that is really bad. It's very bad. Ah, there's whole ass up there. Uh, oh, okay, let's move on. I uh, agree. Let's do the time warp for the first time. <laughs> okay. Or we're not doing it again. So, defender game. <laughs> sort of. Can you go left and right, or just is it? Looks nope, like it's on yeah, rails. I'm just going this way. It's on rails. I can only go that far too. Oops. Oh, and all the walls are deadly. Good. Good yeah. now. Whoa. I guess that was the last one. Oh no, they morphed into these. That's clouds. kind of neat. Interesting. Whoa. That's gonna shoot you. Oh, well, that's an interesting effect. I don't think we've seen that. No, I have not. When you get the last guy, it morphs into another guy. Oh, back to the oh helicopter things. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah. Oh. Ugh, a lot of flashing right there. Oh, yeah. And then it just cycles through them. So not much for levels, just... Cycling through bad guys. Yeah. Okay. Kind of basic. Want to give it a shot? Sure. Oh, oh, wait a minute. There was something that showed something. Sure. I don't know level... if that's actually something you can get to or not, though. Oh.
<laughs> wow. You're doing I am great. I'm of this game. It's hard not to be. They, they're firing, like, all the time. Right. Oh, no. No, don't kill me! Don't kill me! <laughs> when you kill them right there, then they turn into the next thing, and it's like... Right uh, where you are. And you're yeah. waiting for them to just hurt you. That's not true. Not really. Ugh. I like that effect. That's cool. <laughs> but it's like it's setting you up so that you know you're going to yep. die. <laughs> Alrighty. So it shows that, that maybe that's how far you got or something. I, kinda yeah, like, I'm not sure. Maybe kind of like Outrun, how it shows you like... This is how far you got in your path that's really long. It could be, yeah. yeah. All right, well, that's Zellers. There was only a couple. Now, the deal was I think they did make more, but they were... Um, Licensed or... Yeah, they were They were published by other companies and stuff, too. Right. So I'm not exactly sure. Um, maybe Dig Dug. Yeah, maybe Dig Dug. There was nothing like Dig Dug. You know, so that's funny. Yeah, that's the that, weird uh, part. That box art is like just take a random box art and just slap Time Warp on there. You're good to go. Yeah, I honestly don't know if that's that's the case. Uh, like it just, I uh, was developer was Fun Vision and then publisher was Zellers. Curious what it says down here, real quick. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Not much. Not much. Player controls a spaceship surrounded uh, by five enemy ships. Player obtained points by shooting through four uh, rounds of difficulty. Okay, so it was released by CCE, Zellers, and Fun Vision for Brazil. Brazil. Canada, yeah. Europe, and USA markets. Okay, so they just, all right, whatever. Great. <laughs> Great. Great, I love it. Okay, guys, I think that's all we have for today. Yeah, no, overall, so, not a bad stream. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. These are interesting companies. We have three weeks left, you said. Correct. What what companies, what are some of the companies we got uh, looking to look forward let, to? Let's see here. Let me, uh, let me go try to find it. Um, let's see if I can find it real quick. Um, um, let's see. Next up, we have Bomb, Konami, Answer, and Venture Vision. Wow, a lot of companies, yeah. only 14 games. Huh? Yeah. Then we have Milton Br Bradley, and then what I'm calling the one offs. So these are guys who just have one game, one hit wonders. Uh, I'm not even going to call them hits because we have no idea. Uh, and then we have our Star Path uh, slash Arcadia. Uh huh. Uh, Arcadia and Starpath. I'm not sure which they started. I think they started with Arcadia and then switched to Starpath. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, only a few our, our more. Our 2600 journey is coming to an end. Yeah, we're, we're getting close. Yeah. Um, so, after, yeah. So, I uh, mentioned it before, but the idea is that we'll be, after we finish up the 2600 stuff, which will probably be first of the year. Um, Somewhere around yeah, there. Yeah. It'll probably be a new year, just after New Year's celebration yeah. of finishing everything. Yep. And with uh, Star Path. Yep. And then uh, then what we're going to want to be probably doing is switching to the Sunday streams, be in the same time slot but on Sundays, and a little less structure. I think what we're, we're just going to be kind of just like, oh, you want to play today? Oh, let's play some arcade games or NES or Superman NES or whatever the hell we want. We're just chatting. You know, we can take requests. We could just do whatever. I think it's going to be kind of a free-for-all. So, which I think is going to be neat, especially if we, we could just take a theme or something for the day. It's like, who knows? Yeah. All right, let's Maybe try we'll even the... play more modern retro inspired games or sure, something. Sure. Who knows? Yeah. You won't because yeah. we don't. <laughs> exactly. You, hold on. I was pointing over here. Yeah. You. You. I was pointing at the chat because yeah. that's where the chat is to me. Right. But... Right. Anyway. Yeah, we got to get, we got to do this. this yeah, is, I don't know what is, the hell is going on this here is because, not, yeah, because like I have to like lean all the way over here. Disembodied shoulder there. Yeah, the third guy <laughs> needs to get out of here. All <laughs> but right, we'll guys. figure that out. All right, guys. So, well, 
you know, we're done for the day. So see you in the next adventure. Take care.